When I started this channel almost five years ago, I was almost 380 pounds. I busted my ass to try and fix that. I ran into roadblocks on the way, but I kept going and going daily for almost nine months. I was seeing my results for my efforts. The scale was going down and along the way with my waistline. Things were going good. I was much more active, I was going for walks, working on archery, and even playing some footy. But then I got injured. I was playing in goal for my rec team. Um, I've come to discover I'm actually a pretty decent goalkeeper, by the way. I dove to make a save and landed funny with my arm extended and ended up causing a shoulder impingement. It took nearly four months, around January of 2019, to fix that and get back to a place where I could start working out again. But I had let my diet slip. I had put on some weight and wasn't where I was before the injury. It took time and it took a new approach. Going from keto to intermittent fasting, but the weight started to come off. But then I had a major setback that has had long lasting side effects. Stress, as they say, can have devastating effects on us. And I suddenly found myself under a ton of stress as the business I had been building for several years was rocked when our equipment was stolen and we were not helped by insurance. It caused my business partners and I to shut down. And, well, this killed me. Something I'd been trying so hard to build for several years at this point was just gone. The stress of the loss, dealing with the insurance, and also realizing the financial responsibilities that were now going to need to come out of my pocket. It was a lot. Now, I'm telling you all of this to give you some context. I don't know how much this played a part in what happened next, but it's possible it did. I started suffering from a severe gout attack. It started off in one foot, then took over both of them, then it took over my knees and my hips. I was in so much pain that walking to just the washroom was almost unbearable. I had to urinate into containers that were dumped out for me, only forcing myself to crawl to the washroom when number two came calling. Some days I'd even force myself to hold it for a day or two just because I couldn't bear to put weight on my legs. We tried everything. We changed my diet, no protein, removing all the purines from my system, eat vegetarian, drink this, eat that, take this medication, but it just kept getting worse and worse. I was in too much pain to move. Walking to the car and getting in and out in order to go to the hospital wasn't even something I could fathom. In hindsight, we probably should have called an ambulance at some point, but I always thought that it would get better the next day. It never did. For six months, from July 2019 to late November 2019, I was bedridden, only able to force myself ten steps from the bed to the toilet when absolutely necessary. I could do nothing but lay in bed all day. I was completely inactive. The cortisol in my system must have been through the roof. My resting heart rate was frighteningly high. I some days stared out the window and feared this room would be the last thing I'd ever know. I feared death. The only real positive thing I could do was read. I researched everything I possibly could related to gout. I started looking for alternative views from Western medicine on how to fix my condition. In the end, it was virtually a carnivore diet that saved me. I ate lots of meat, consumed lots of broth, and even started dabbling in organ meats. It worked. The gout went away, against everything that we are told about gout and not eating protein. The opposite actually fixed me. But the damage had been done. The very first day that I was able to stand and walk with no pain, I weighed in at 307 pounds. That's the lightest I had been in years. In fact, it was a loss of 60 pounds from the time that I started to be bedridden. But a lot of that was muscle loss, and my cardiovascular system was extremely weak. For the first month, I could walk for maybe five minutes a day, but 
I would be struggling to breathe with every step, and I would be so exhausted. I wouldn't be able to move for the rest of the day. Not to mention how much pain my back and legs would be in as the muscles were slowly trying to recover from the extreme atrophy while trying to carry a 300-pound man. I was slowly over time able to add more and more distance, but then the big C happened. All of my activity went to a standstill. I was now working from home and spending anywhere from 12 to 16 hours a day sitting at a desk doing nothing. I also caught the thing that shall not be named several times. Nothing ever too severe, but my respiration definitely struggled for different periods of time. I worked, I sat, I ate, I put on weight. I put on so much weight that I had to buy a new scale that didn't max out at 400 pounds. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how heavy I eventually got, but if I had to guess, it would be very close to 450 pounds. Now, something that has gone untreated for a long time is my sleep apnea. I was never diagnosed before, but for as long as I can remember, and anyone who has known me can attest that uh, they've always made fun of me for how loud my snoring is. It actually wasn't until my wife told me that I actually stopped breathing for long periods when I'm asleep that it even occurred to me. So this year I was finally diagnosed with sleep apnea and was issued a BiPAP machine. I'll dive into this stuff deeper into another video, but what I will say is that this is changing my life for the better. I have energy now and thanks to it, I'm finally able to get back into the gym. As I write this, I'm now 409 pounds, still about 200 from where I'd like to be, but I do feel better than I have in several years, and I'm already starting to see some fantastic results from my diet, my training, and most importantly, my recovery. I'm now 40, and my goal is to be the best version of me by the time I'm 41. That's one of my commitments. The other is to be better and more consistent at sharing my experiences with all of you. Thanks for sticking around and listening to this and going down memory lane with me. Um, and I guess uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.